Oh, here's some nice rare stuff. My collection of Sunrise Tapes. PAL format VHS releases. Of, I think they're mostly Spanish horror. Uh, with a few other things in the, in the crate here as well. These were made by a guy named Rene. Uh, I believe the website was called CineCity. In uh, Holland. There we go. Now we can look at the cover. Jess Franco's... Uh, the Erotic Rites of Frankenstein. Very hard to find. I, I, I think I cleaned them out one time. Nice castle of blood. This is in a softer clamshell case. Spanish film. Yeah, that one. Uh, with the dude who gets all messed up in the fire. I cannot recall the completeness of it. I believe that was uncut. I don't know if an uncut version of the film actually exists. Robert Minnell would would know. Exorcismo. I think this is a Paul Nezshi film. There he is. Look at that gorgeous artwork for the back. He put some time into these. That's for sure. I haven't watched them. You know, I boxed up my tapes mostly in 2014. And they've been uh, in storage ever since. This one's important. Werewolf in the Yeti. Another Paul Nezshi uh, thriller, Valdemar Deninsky series, set in the Himalayas, Himalayas, however they pronounce it there. And it's an, it's one of the only known uncut prints. Uh, the print quality is, is, is pretty lame, but it's all there. And it's not my, not my favorite of his films. Uh, this one was at one point Horror Raisins from the Tomb. Just kidding. Horror Rises from the Tomb with the whole cast there. Emma Cohen and Helga Line. Or Line. Carlos Aura. Same in the back. And there's some way to tell if, if, if this is an original or a copy that he made. The yellow labels might be second generation. They all play back at SP mode, and if you ask me, they all look equally bad. Who knows how he was making them? Uh, we did not ask, we just collected. That's your standard print. I believe these are all full screen. I don't think any of them are, are widescreen. Dracula's Great Love, that's what drew me to his uh, selections originally. Uh, one of my favorite films, with again with Paul Nezshi and uh, A.D. Boritoff. Javier Aguirre, was that the guy who directed this one? And it, unfortunately, it's the same, well, like 85 minute English print. No improvement over Sinister Cinema or anybody else's, which is too bad. With Dutch subtitles. These are all English language prints with Dutch subtitles. Strange of the Vampires, this is a pretty important tape. Once again, I think it's uncut. The uh, print quality, universally poor. Another yellow label. Very important tape. This is this may be the most important of all. It's Malenka. Well, you know, Werewolf and the Yeti, which which is uncut with brutality and gore, and, and Malenka's not that kind of a film. But it's the the British print or the I'm sorry, the European assembly. With a somewhat different ending to it. And uh, I'd like to watch this one again. I'd like to watch that again. Dracula Saga. Fantastic movie. I love the uh, the guy who plays Dracula. Narquisco Ibanez Serrador. He, he should have gotten an Oscar. Or some sort of award nomination for his portrayal. 
world weary, cynical. He's had enough. Just wants quiet and have the mess in the castle cleaned up. <laughs> I can't recall if there was any dis anything distinctive about that. Lorley's grasp in the uh, soft clamp shell again. Armando Yasorio, better known for the Blind Dead films. Uh, Tony Kendall's hilarious in his sunglasses. Seems like all the ones with the first generation labels are in the soft clam shell cases. Too bad there's no official history of this. If somebody has to write up this stuff, I, d I don't know it anymore. And, of course, the uh, Night of the Sorcerers. All right, I got it. Awesome movie. My favorite Osorio film. Well, oh, Tombs of the Blind Dead. Either Tombs of the Blind or Dead or this is my favorite Osorio film. Because this is so bogus. It's just exploitation cinema masquerade as a, as a horror film. And then just some random tapes. Look at that. Nice NTSC Heroes in Hell with uh, Klaus Kinski. And this is an odd film. Loved it. The Possessed or Help Me Unpossessed. A very independent film. I think it was made in Utah in 1975, 1976. And I think that's a Greek pal tape of, of the film. And unfortunately, it's the exact same print. A disappointment, but I love the movie, and that's a, another erotic rights of Frankenstein. But this is an NTSC sell through copy. I'd like to watch this again too because I've forgotten how complete the print is on it. I know it's full screen. Anyone got a worldwide converting deck handy?